AS-90, which is the uh, current British mobile artillery piece. Um, that gun on the front there is what they call a 155mm gun, so again, the size of the hole at the end of the barrel, 15.5 centimetres across. Um, even though there's a turret there, this is not the sort of vehicle that's going to be firing at other tanks. This vehicle, the idea is for lobbing shells, it's what they call a howitzer, it fires shells up in the air at long distance, uh, and again, it's put on a mobile chassis so it can go forward with the armoured formation. So you've got, instead of having to wait for your artillery to come up so you can help proceed on your advance if you're an armoured formation, your artillery comes with you with AS-90. AS-90, it was first started being designed way back in the 1980s. Um, we had a, a program that was failed. You can see there the elevation on the gun. Um, by the way, it, um, if that gun fired, if they put uh, what they call a full bag charge in behind it, this gun could shell Bournemouth. That's about 30,000 metres away, so you're looking about 30 kilometres. Um, different size bag charges, in other words, explosives, you put your 155 millimetre round in the breech and then you put bags of explosives depending on how far you want that round to go. Um, the turret, it can actually turn a whole 360 degrees. Um, there's a five man crew for this vehicle, uh, so there's a fair few guys in there. Um, you tend to fire and scoot as well. You don't hang around too long in a modern uh, mobile artillery piece because nowadays there's very clever radars that can track the trajectory, I can get my words out, trajectory of a shell in flight. Um, it can map two points and pretty much work out where that round's come from. So when you're firing, being mobile, very important that you fire and get going again. To do that, um, this vehicle actually can fire three rounds in less than 10 seconds, um, which is a, a pretty impressive fire rate for any vehicle uh, you know, in service today. They carry 48 rounds inside the turret and uh, as I mentioned, the, uh, the full charge in there, they can go for about 30,000 metres, that's uh, 30 kilometres. Armour protection on the vehicle, it's mainly steel here, so that'll stop things like small arms fire, that's bullets, um, shell splinters, it's not going to stop an incoming round from a big vehicle like a tank. 